control. Okay. What will always happen is Sam will try and grab my hand to fight the position. Okay, it will always go. If he doesn't, I should just be trying to attack with the next straight off the bat. Like I do this all the time, I just go boom and feed him and maybe choke him. Okay. So if he doesn't control my arm or doesn't try to defend my arm, that's what I'm going to do. If he does, which is most common, he'll try and pull this, this top hand off. Either hand is fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to circle my hand through. So I'm just sliding up. I circle through, grab his wrist. And I want to push this down against his arm. And this gives me like a split second little trap. From there, I can punch this one up in behind his neck. Okay? And it's hard for him to defend. It gives me a split second to get this very, very deep. Now, I'm going to free up my own arm and try and trap his a little bit. So I bring my leg up over the top of his arm, and I use that counter pressure to pull my hand out and pinch. Here I go back, slide this in behind his head, and I can finish with the choke. Okay? So again, we're here. I've got this hand position, right? Arm around his neck, grabbing his wrist, the other one's grabbing my wrist. He goes to defend, I circle, catch, punch down. As I punch down, I punch up. Let go of his arm, free this through. And you see I'm pulling it all the way back, snake behind his neck, and finish. Okay, so I'm, I'm basically, I'm killing his hand, making it very difficult for him to defend. Okay, again, one more time, from here, he goes to defend, I circle, punch down, punch up. Here, pull, heaver, switch, break, go to his belt, bring him in, knock him down, invert, go to the back, switch it to the back position. Remember, grab the wrist, grab my own, I see defense, I circle, punch down, punch up, leg over the shoulder, pull free, 